Crawford County Sheriff Lewis Walker says there's not enough evidence to charge the man who allegedly chased a hospice nurse away from her house call this week. Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lori Johnson and I'm Frank Beloy. He says that's because the evidence is mostly based on each side story. As Anthony Montalto shows us, while the nurse worried about getting to safety, the patient she was going to see was left wondering what happened. Many of you have shown your support for hospice nurse Lynette Rainey, who says she was chased away from her house call in Byron Monday night after turning down the wrong driveway. Now her patient says she's disappointed Rainey had to go through that whole ordeal. I might have got lost or, so or something. That's what Sandra DeFell figured when Rainey didn't show up for an appointment Monday night. After waiting about an hour, she went to bed. No one called to, to let us know what was going on. It wasn't until later that DeFell found out what happened to Rainey. I hate it. I really do. They don't need to come come out at night unless they know exactly where they're 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 going to. Many of you echoed the same, like fellow nurse Faye Tripp. She says many people don't realize the potential dangers of working with patients in a rural area. Defel says people have had trouble finding her house before, so she wasn't surprised to hear Rainey made a wrong turn. They just pull, pulled in the yard and pulled back out. That's all. And like countless others in our Facebook comments, DeFell's glad Rainey got home safely. She just wishes she never had to get in this situation to begin with. I'm just glad she didn't get hurt, as I said. And, and like I said, if they're going to come come out at night, they need to know exactly the house they're, 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 they're going to. Now, we also heard from some of you who felt Sheriff Walker's response to the situation was insensitive. Walker says his comment to find where you're going when it's daylight out was only meant to be helpful, but he says he does realize some people might not have that option. Back to you. All right, thanks, Anthony. Sheriff Walker says Rainey can go before a judge to see if the judge would grant a warrant for terroristic threats. We reached out to District Attorney Anita Howard's office to see if she's considering any charges. We have not heard back yet. We're also taking a closer look at the dangers of the nursing profession. Healthcare workers have one of the most dangerous jobs due to workplace violence. The National Database of Nursing Quality Indicators in 2022 did a survey that found, on average, two nurses are assaulted every hour in the U.S. Psychiatric units, ERs, and pediatric units see the highest numbers of assaults. In 2016, the Government Accountability Office found workplace violence was a serious concern for 15 million healthcare workers.